Hello, and welcome to another rendition of Steve Discovery. Today, we have found a migrating herd of Steves making their way towards the northwest easterly chunks of Minecraft as they continue about their way journeying to the spawn area during their deck yearly migration. As we can see, there are a large variety of Steves here, for these Steves have all come from many parts of the world, some from the hot southern plains of the Pacific to the moist wet areas of the Sahara. We journey with these Steves in their grand trek of self-discovery and reproduction as we continue to try to learn more and more about their wondrous, wondrous species. We see here a dominant, iron-headed, loud, cow-legged steed, as he is dominating over all the smaller steves in the area, staking his claim of the territory. Let us observe as he begins to take authority over all these majestic creatures. Ah, it appears he has attracted a female counterpart. Perhaps these two will now start and it appears the female has become very jealous of our close encounter with her spouse. We must keep an eye on her to make sure that we do not tread on her property. Aha! A cow hided Steve with a sharp stick comes into the area. He appears to want to have dominion over all of these creatures, and as the two alpha males fight for the female, we will now see nature take its course. Ah, the fight ensues, but it appears the cow hided Steve is using a tactic of hiding within the vines. Camouflage is not the best of this creature. As we see, the two mates have officially subdued the creature and have now staked claim over all of its resources. They shall now utilize these resources to take over the area and command these steves to do what they will. Ah, oh, nature can be so beautiful. A young steveling squats here in the area as he observes a sharp stick wielding steve attacking the alpha leaders. He appears to have got the element of surprise, but alas, he is outnumbered. Let us observe. It appears that he is in retreat. Oh my, it appears to be a very rare diamond sworded wielding steed. We definitely can now say that this is one of the strongest alpha leaders we have seen in a very long time. We are glad to share this moment with you, faithful viewers. As we make a closer view of the steed, Hiding here in the back, we see that he actually wields many types of tools of trade. For he is in fact a very versatile creature of many talents. It is what this his species depends on for their survival. Let us trek on with this young and springy Steve, as he appears to be trying to find his way into this herd. Ah, another small Steve wades in the water. Yes, in fact, this is one of the very rare amphibious Steves. Steves are not very known for their water acrobatics, or they have very stubby legs and lack flippers to swim with. As we journey on in our trek, we observe that actually these Steves appear not to really be all that aquatic at all. In fact, they're actually quite clumsy when they're swimming within liquid. So they quickly migrate back to the land so that they may regain their footing and of course reassert their dominion over their species. As we observe, it appears that there was a small skirmish, but Steves try to make claim with one another. They try to be friendly, for even though that they are trouble species, they tend to get themselves stuck in unfortunate situations. Here we see the majestic alpha male is cleverly and skillfully hiding within the ground. Like a golfer, it tries its best to make sure that it is not very well seen with its camouflaged head, attacking people as they come by. You see here that this young and springy Steve here, with this wooden stick, wonders what he should do with this alpha leader, as the younger Steve looks on in the background. This is a very odd scenario for an alpha leader, I am sure he has not quite encountered things like this before. But alas, it seems that he was well suited, for he asked for help from that younger Steve, and it appears the younger Steve has lifted him out, and now he congratulates him with a good handshake. As the younger Steve makes its way down the hillside, trying to seek if this is safe for him to come down, the Alpha Leader asserts that he still has dominion over the territory by making sure none of the other younger Steves try to take over his position. He was weakened while he was in that hole. He got a very bad foot cramp because he accidentally ate too many nachos. It is very one of the rare delicacies for a Steve to eat nachos during Tuesdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays. 
but it seems that this was an unfortunate Tuesday for this particular Steve to eat nachos. As the Steves climb up the hillside, we see that they take on an observing of the alpha male leader here. They seem to really want dominion over this area, for alas, the Steves are very attracted to all sorts of the shiny sticks he wields. As they pursue him, they continue to slap him further and further, because all that they ever really truly want from the Steve is his dominant stick. You see here the bow wielding Steve is not quite sure anymore. He appears quite confused, and his confusion led to a brain aneurysm that caused him to implode on himself, and he has unfortunately died. One of the Steves here now is the new alpha leader of the pack, and will now gather the alpha male's resources and continue to survey over the land that is now newly his. If we journey back here, we observe that the particular area that the Steves have come within is actually a very hilly area. Steve have, Steves have not known quite to be the most agile of creatures, but sometimes they try to inflict reverse psychology on other members of their species by making them think that they are agile by being in such hilly areas and discouraging them from trying to take over. Let us go see if that new alpha male is, has gotten now accustomed to his new resources and how he will utilize such things. Ah, we now see the Steve here. He is about to check up on a younger Steve in this area. It seems that this younger Steve wants to partake in this new Steve's clan. For all new Steves are entrepreneurs in a way. They want to exercise their new abilities and discover. We see here what is known as the casual greeting of the Steves, known as the slap to the face. It is one of the most warming and friendly greetings Steves have been given. Ah, alas, we witness an iron-plated Steve. He wants to be the new alpha leader, as his friend, the golden-plated Steve, follows closely behind. They pursue the diamond stick Steve across the hills as they try to make themselves the new leaders of this area. Let us follow them and see what their adventures happen. Let's keep an eye on this gold-plated Steve, for he has lost track of his iron-plated friend. Let us make sure that he gets back to him so that may, they may be reconjoined. All Steve's ever want is to have another mate, and in such a vile and disputable landscape filled with danger and uncertainty, spouses here have such a short lifespan, and so they often need new people to hang out with. Let us bring this golden-plated Steve over. As we follow the golden-plated Steve down the hill, we take this moment to remark on how overgrown this area is. Apparently no one paid their landscapist enough money here. Steves have known to be very stingy creatures. Alas, we see this new iron-plated Steve here from before. Again, Steves are not quite the 